Hello, my name is Sean Cochran, and I want to thank you for joining me today on this video regarding the shoulder turn in the golf swing. We, we've talked about this previously, and oftentimes an amateur player, an amateur golfer, is going to struggle with segments or components of the golf swing in terms of a specific movement pattern. So we know that within the golf swing that we have to perform the phases of the swing in the correct order, in the correct sequence, and with timing. And if I'm unable to actually perform the patterns associated with those phases of the swing, then executing the swing efficiently, correctly, and in a repeated manner becomes very difficult. As we've talked about previously, if an individual is having issues or difficulties with a component within the swing, what we can do from a motor control or motor learning aspect is pull that piece of the swing out, train it, and then put it back into the swing when we're practicing and playing. So one area or one aspect that many amateurs struggle with is rotation of the shoulders. So we understand that we rotate around a fixed spine angle in the golf swing. We also know that the lower body hips rotate independently of the upper bodies or shoulders. So when I'm in a golf posture, my hips rotate, my shoulders rotate. Hips rotate, shoulders rotate. If an individual has issues or difficulties separating those segments, rotates everything together, everything together, the propensity for the golf swing to be efficient and executed correctly is going to most likely be impossible. So what do we do? We don't try to teach the rotation of the shoulders during the swing. We pull the shoulder turn out of the swing, train it, and then put it back into the swing. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three drills in a progressive fashion. So you're gonna master drill number one. Once it's mastered, you go to drill number two. When drill number two is mastered, you move on to drill number three. And with all of these drills or exercises, what you're working on is learning the motor pattern or shoulder rotation or upper body rotation independently of the lower half. And then once you have it mastered, you work on it in the swing when you're practicing. We are back and we're starting to work on the drills for upper body or shoulder rotation in your golf swing. So as you see, I'm sitting on a bench. Now this first drill is what I call seated rotations. So you're gonna use a golf club, you can use a broomstick, any type of implement that you can take across your shoulders. And I want you to sit on a chair or a bench or an exercise ball. So the point of when I'm sitting on a chair or a bench, my hips are fixed. They're not going to rotate. So what I can do is I can work and train the shoulders or upper body to rotate independently of the lower half, which I need to happen in the golf swing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my club or my broomstick or whatever you have, I want you to take it on top of your shoulders, place your hands on your shoulders, elevate your elbows up, press your feet into the ground. Now from this position, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to rotate to your right as far as you can, rotate to your left. And you can pause or you can create a little more consecutive action here. But again, what I want you to do is I want you to train your body and your upper body to ro rotate independently of your shoulders. And when my hips are on a fixed position, as on this bench, it's very easy to feel that X factor or that stretch between my hips and shoulders. So what I want you to do is I want you to rotate back and forth. We're gonna do that 15 repetitions, single set, in order to get the feel of shoulder rotation independently of the hips. Once I have that feel and I feel comfortable with action, we're gonna to progress to actually drill number two. So we're back, we're on to drill number two. So now drill number two, after I've completed the seated rotation or seated club rotations, I'm gonna to move to a standing position. Now again, when I'm in a standing position, I have to stabilize the whole body and I have to start to learn how to independently rotate hips from shoulders. So this will be more challenging. So as I said, 
master drill number one before you go on to drill number two. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna do standing club rotations. So again, I want you to take a golf club, start in your five iron posture. Now from your five iron posture, I want you to stand upright, so stand tall. Grasp your club, shoulder width apart. So what I want you to do is I want you to rotate left and right, upper body, independent of my lower half. So as you can see, you can see my hips and shoulders are rotating, but they are rotating independently of one another, and I can get that feel of an X-factor stretch or separate or isolated rotation of my hips and my shoulders. So again, what I want you to do is I want you to go 15 repetitions left and right. You can pause at the end range of motion each way to get a feel and feel a little stretch, but both ways. And again, the goal is to create independent rotation, hips and shoulders. So I want you to feel the shoulder rotation. I don't want everything moving on the same plane or at the same time. I want independent hip, shoulder rotation. Again, drill number two, one set, 15 repetitions. Now once you master this, feel comfortable with the pattern, then we move on to exercise or drill number three. So we're on to drill number three in regards to working the independent pattern of your upper body or shoulder rotation in the golf swing. So let's reveal. Drill number one, seated club rotations. Drill number two, standing rotation. Drill number three is gonna be golf posture rotation. So again, I want you to take your golf club. I want you to get in five iron posture. I want you to take your club, cross your shoulders, place your hands on the top of your shoulders. Now again, you're in golf posture now, and what I want you to do is I want you to go left and right, regardless if you're a left-handed or right-handed golfer. I want you to rotate both ways, get the hips and the shoulders independently rotating from one another. So as you can see, I've got hip sh rotation, I've got shoulder rotation, but what is happening is they're independently rotating. So I've been building and learning and allowing my body to encompass these new patterns correctly, and then I start to work it into the patterns of the golf swing. So again, with this drill, one set, 15 repetitions. This is progression number three. So you need the master drill number one, master drill number two, before you go on to drill number three. And at this point, you can start to input that shoulder action or upper body rotation back into your practice sessions on the range. So let's quickly review what we've talked about in the exercises for today. And again, if you like what you're seeing, you wanna see more of this information, again, click the subscribe button on my page and feel free to email or text me or send a, a bleep in regards to what you'd like to learn more about. So as we talked about, separation of your hips and shoulders, rotation in the golf swing around a fixed spine angle. If you're having issues with a shoulder turn, let's pull the action out of the golf swing, work on it independently, and then you could put it back into the swing during a practice session. So this is what we call motor control and motor learning. So drill number one was our seated club rotations. Drill number two was our standing rotations. And drill number three was golf posture rotations. And again, master drill one, then move on to drill two. Master drill two, move on to drill three. And again, always keep in mind, the golf swing is a very complex action or athletic action. And it can be very difficult to sequence and execute each component of the swing correctly. If you're having issues, pull the pattern out of the swing, drill it, and then put it